good evening everyone a number of you have been having some issues with Kongria virtual classroom and um, these are legitimate issues what we have realized is that um, the software is lagging and the sound is a bit choppy so we have spent quite a bit of time researching um, some integrations that will make your video conferencing experience much more pleasant we already have zoom meetings for, for those of us who have um, licensed zoom accounts we have those and we have the blue button um, but this evening i want to introduce you to another tool that works just as well and that is quite reliable and effective and that is microsoft teams meeting so we have managed to integrate microsoft teams meeting into our moodle platform so i will demonstrate how you set up a Microsoft Teams meeting. There are three ways of doing it. You could do it through your forums, forums, you could do it in the calendar, and you can do it as a simple URL. With the integration, you can set up your Microsoft Teams meeting directly from your course. So, we begin. I'm going to use my sample course right here to demonstrate. I'm going to start by turning on my editing so that I can add a forum. So, I'm going to click add an activity or resource and I'm going to select a forum and I am going to add my details to my forum. So, this forum I will call, okay, my sample course virtual classroom. Okay, and I am going to give it a description and that description is of course will explain what the classroom is all about so um, we will use this forum to run our live sessions now my language is not, not always appropriate we might say have our live sessions run our virtual classrooms but this is just basic for now and I'm going to keep it as a standard forum for general use. That's all I'm going to do. And I am going to save and return to my course. Notice that um, the sample course virtual classroom forum is added. So the question is, how do I add my live sessions to this? It is very simple. All I need to do is click on the sample on the forum click add a new discussion topic and i can simply add session one okay this is the name of my first class session one how to use microsoft teams meeting then it couldn't get easier than what I'm about to do. All I need to do is select the Microsoft Teams icon. Let me just expand. This is the Microsoft Teams icon right here in the message section. It is right here. All I need to do is click on Microsoft Teams. Okay. It will ask me to sign in. And you only need to sign in once. And all of us have Microsoft accounts with the college everybody who has who is a member of the college community has a Microsoft account and so you automatically have Microsoft Teams all we need to do is sign in so I'm going to sign in now okay I'm signed in and now I need to just simply create the meeting link so to do that I add the name of my meeting session 1 Okay, how to use Microsoft. Okay, let me just correct that. Microsoft Teams meeting. Okay. And I'm going to select my date and my time. So I'm going to select. I want, I want to have that on Monday the 12th. And I want to have it at let's say 
9 a.m. Okay, that's all I need to do. And I simply select create. So now that I have created, it's going to give me two options. I can start the meeting immediately, which I don't want to do. Or I can go to my meeting options, which is very important. Because now I can set um, whether I want my meeting to be repeated or the controls that my participants will have. So to do that, I go to meeting options and it opens up the options window. And setting the options is extremely simple. Okay. Um, there are the first option is whether is, is who accesses this and you must ensure that people in my organization is checked. So that means only the students in your class can access this because they have the authentication or the credentials necessary to do so. So we leave that as yes. And then now we look at who can present. Okay, this is very important. You can select only me or specific people. If you select specific people, you will have to send them the invitation separately, individually. But in our case, we just want only me because you're the teacher. You might give others presentation rights during the meeting, but at the beginning you don't. Now that we have done that, we click save. Okay. And we go back to our course and simply click add link. Now that we have we have added the link, we simply click post to forum and our session is set. So the students, all they have to do now is click on the session when it's time and they click the link and it will ask them to join the session. So there are a number of ways of joining the session. They can download the, the app, the Microsoft Teams app, or just continue in the browser, okay? Or open, or if they already have Microsoft Teams installed, they simply open in Teams. And this is how simple it is. So I'm clicking continue in this browser, and the meeting will simply start up right there in the browser, okay? So I need to allow my camera and my microphone. Okay. And that is basically it for now. Okay. I will get the option to join. So let me just turn off my camera, turn off my mic to avoid any feedback. I just click join now. It connects and we're in the meeting. So guys, this is how easy it is to use Microsoft Teams meeting in a forum. Okay, so now let us see how you could add your live session using the calendar. And that again is extremely easy. So all we need to do, I mean my sample course, we're going to go down to the calendar in, in the menu. We will open up the calendar. All we need to do is select the day we want to have our session. So let me just start on the 10th. I know it's a Saturday, but that's all right. And I'll just put session one. Okay. How to use Microsoft Teams meeting. And let me just continue by clicking the show more option i this is the show more option here okay and i select the type of event now in this case this, the event can be for a specific group of or a specific user or for the course if i select a group of course it would ask me to find my groups but i don't have any groups in the course but if your course has groups you could select your group okay in this case, I'm just doing that for course. All right, and it's so easy to create my my Teams um, session. All I need to do is click on again the Teams option in description, create my meeting. This is on the 10th. So I'm just going to set the 
the day, the 10, and let's say the time 8 p.m. It doesn't really matter. This is just demonstration. Okay. And I will type in session 1 again. And I'm going to click create. And that is it. This is how simple it is. Again, we will go to our meeting options to make sure that we have the right privileges set. So under who can present, I'm going to change this to only me. I'm going to save. Yes, and that's it. I'm going to go back to my calendar and I'm going to add the link. Here I can repeat the event. Okay. And I can repeat that meeting, let's say, for four weeks by just typing in four. Repeat weekly. Four. Now that I have done that, notice my link is here. My course is set. My date is set. Let me make sure I have the right time. 8 p.m. So 8 p.m. is 20. Not 00. 0 20 hundred hours. And I save. And my notice that my session is set on the 10th, 17th, 24th, and 31st. So let's see what our students will see. Okay, so notice our students are seeing in the upcoming events the session. So all you need to do is click the session and of course all you have to do is click. So let, let's do it from student view. Let me go to my dashboard. Let me switch view. I want to view this thing as a student. Okay, so my student sees the events here in up, under upcoming events. We click okay and they click on the event and again they open it up in their browser if they want or in microsoft teams app and this is all there is to it when it comes to adding this in the calendar so now we're going to take the last option which is to create a url which some of you might favor because it's extremely specific so all I need to do now, I go to add activity or resource. I scroll down to the URL option. Click add. Okay. I type in my virtual classroom option right here. Okay. I Notice I don't add the URL yet because I have to generate it. And the simplest way to generate it is to first go to your description, add, use the Microsoft Teams of the Teams meeting option here, okay, to add your, to create your meeting. So I'm going to create my meeting. The date and time doesn't matter. I'm just going to do something very quickly. So this is session one. I'm going to create, okay. I'm not going to go to meeting options because we understand how that, how that is done. I'm going to add the link and this time I'm going to copy this link and paste it here. So I'm going to copy, I'm going to click here and I'm going to paste it. And then that's basically it. I'm going to save and return to the course. And notice my virtual classroom is set. So all I have to do now is click and my meeting can run. So guys, this is basically it microsoft teams is a very easy video conferencing platform to use with it you can share um, files you can share your screen you can share audio you can share video so this is another option which i think that you will like thank you very much for giving us your time and if you need any help don't forget to call us email us or just come upstairs to our office for support thank you very much